Today we are going to check out how we can use the official Microsoft antivirus which comes with our Windows completely free but for a change it is hidden so we are going to uncover it which is really really easy. Let's go straight for it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below so here we are on the desktop and the Microsoft Windows malicious software removal tool is uh, running so we are going to cancel it because the idea is to share with you how we can use this tool now this would be something which is very useful it's an extra layer of security I would say that uh, it should have a shortcut or something like that to start but it doesn't so how can we start it we need to press the Windows key plus R so that we go to the command run we just have to write M R T that is it press OK and then give the administrator uh, permission, which I can't record here on screen, but we just need to press yes. Here we have the Microsoft Windows malicious software removable tool. We can check out here the version. This will depend on our Windows update. If it's older, then it will have an older version. If it's newer, it will have a newer version. Basically, that is it. I just need to press next. And then we have three options. The quick scan, which is what we are going to do. There is a full scan. Just in case we do a quick scan and we can't find anything, then we can do a full scan. Now, I would suggest if you have any kind of issue with your computer and you are suspicious, it might be a virus or any malicious software, do the full scan. You will wait a few more minutes, but you will make sure that everything will be scanned. And if there's anything wrong, it will remove. There's also one option, which is the customized scan. It will do a quick scan, but besides that, if I choose folder, it will give me the option to select any folder that I'm suspicious. So let's imagine that I did install a software and know which software I did install. And after that, my computer started to act weird. So I'm going to put in that folder right over here so that it can go into detail. Or someone gave me a few pictures and documents. And after that, something went wrong with the computer. So we can select that folder. And this is a great option as well. But for now, let's quick uh, scan right over here and press next. And there we go. It will start uh, on its own and it will start scanning all the files. Now, this is a quick scan, so it will pass through the folders really quickly, roughly three to five minutes, more or less, depending on the computer. At this moment, I did connect mine to the power because the battery was running low. And besides that, at this moment, it can turbo boost. This is a nine-year-old machine that I use here uh, to share some experiences with you. But that being said, this is the process. And that was it. It took about four minutes or so, but you can go back on the timestamps. I was a bit distracted here and I didn't check out how much it took. But basically that is it. I can press finish or I can go and view uh, the detailed results, which in this particular case has no positive results. So everything is not in once again, if you are suspicious with anything instead of the quick scan, just do the full scan. Now I can just press finish and that is it. Next time that I want to use, I know it's a pain. I need to go and Windows R M R T. But this is how Windows works. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.